Destiny 2, was the beta really that bad? Today, let's discuss the negative feedback and the semi-backlash from the community. So we're caught up in drama. So, what's up guys, I'm back on the mic, it feels so weird, I feel like a newbie again, but I'm back, I had time to finally get back on the mic, as you can tell, my few recent uploads had no voiceover, did you miss me, did you miss me, <laughs> sorry, see, I'm still newbie to this, did you miss me, if you did, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Before I get into our main topic, I would like to bring up that if you have pre-ordered Destiny 2, no matter which version, base, deluxe, or legendary, you will be receiving a brand new exotic. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did say you will be getting a brand new exotic. It is a trace rifle known as Cold Heart. Well, you're like, wait, what the hell is trace rifle? It's a pretty much a brand new type of gun, you know? Think of a, a linear fusion rifle, a continuous fusion rifle. A laser, pretty much. <laughs> Cold Heart, which looks like Captain Cold's ice gun from DC Comics, which is pretty cool to me because I love comics, DC and Marvel. No hate here. Definitely reminds me of the exotic boots for the Hunter, the Frosties, or the Frost Dash 335s. And we will also receive a ghost that counts all of our kills in PvP as well PvE. Think of him as a kill counter like in CSGO and every other game that's out right now <laughs> how useful that ghost will be is yet to be seen and you don't have to have it equipped for the little guy to count those kills so that's cool I guess <laughs> enough of the pre-order bonuses because we all know they'll be obsolete pretty quick with us grinding so hard so the beta came and went for consoles specifically I myself played a good amount of, of time on the beta and I'm kind of sad that I have to wait till September for the actual game because I was starting to get hooked. I was starting to get hooked on this new destiny. <laughs> Fortunately, the PC beta will be coming near the end of August on the 28th for the pre-orders and the rest of the weekend as an open beta so I'll be able to get my hands on that for a few days. So, for those of you who actually played more than 30 minutes of the beta, what is your opinion on Destiny 2's beta? An overall change? Let us know down below in the comments. So, Destiny has really changed from vanilla of year 1 to recently of Destiny 2 beta. The most controversial has to be the supers. I've heard it all from both sides. Why is the Hunter super weak? Why is this? Why is that? Why is the Nova Bomb so slow? The Titan is so tanky, I can't kill him. <laughs> okay, so let's attack the Titan. <laughs> you like that little pun I threw in there? Attack on Titan? <laughs> no? If, if you understand that reference, let me know. Or leave a like. If you understand that reference, leave a like. I didn't even mean to put that reference. It just clicked the 1-2 right now. <laughs> okay, so let's attack on Titan. The Titan being so powerful. Yes, the Titan is powerful, but isn't he supposed to be? He's slow, but strong, but there are ways of getting around faster with the Titan, like shoulder charging, forward, and skating, which is still in Destiny, but not as bad as in Destiny 1. Don't you think a class such as Titan should be tough and tanky? If not, let me know why because I'm definitely meaning a Titan in Destiny 2. Now, let's talk about everybody's favorite Jedi. <laughs> let's talk about the Hunter, or Pole Dancer, however you want to, you know, see him. Yes, I'll admit, I thought the Hunter was pretty weak overall, not just in his super. And this is coming from a Destiny 1 Hunter main. What I failed to understand, what I failed to realize, is the Hunter became weaker but more nimble. Yes, I was mad about it first day of the beta, but I didn't give the Hunter a real chance. And I learned how powerful the Arc Strider is with his dodging combo pull skills. <laughs> so I'm going to have to re-re-re- I guess re-research the Hunter and Arc Strider and everything else. 
I'm not talking about Golden Gun. Golden Gun is pretty much the same except you get six bullets, but your super runs out super quickly. And the bullets aren't as strong as they used to be. Just imagine they took those three bullets and just chopped them in half. So yeah, you're gonna need at least two Golden Gun bullets to kill somebody. Lastly, the Warlock. I'll be up front. I didn't really play the Warlock as much as I wanted, so I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Dawnblade is fun, but runs out super fast, just like the Gunslinger does with Hunter. But the main problem people were having was the Nova being slow, and why does it track? Blah, 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 blah. Well, yes, the Nova is turtle slow, snail slow. <laughs> but once it hits, it hits. It hits one hit kill most supers. Eh, wow, wow, small YouTuber problems, stumbling over my words, <laughs> sorry about that. Like I was saying, the Nova is slow, but it is a one hit kill. Most supers are not one hit kills. Striker, ugh, Striker is able to one hit kill only if you get some air when activating it, leaving you vulnerable for those few seconds, but that little time is enough for an intensive guardian to kill you especially with the pulse rifle. Besides supers, some also complained about the whole double primary and power weapons, energy weapons, blah blah blah. You know, that whole change, which I feel is a great benefit towards balancing, so I have no real issue with that change in PvP, but it did negatively affect PvE, so that's kind of a problem. It's kind of a, like, uh, they really need to somehow figure out how to split the PvE and PvP. I don't know if it's possible, you know, maybe, hopefully they'll figure it out. But until then, we're just gonna have to sit back and, you know, hate it. <laughs> One problem I did come across, probably because I was playing with randoms, which I call blueberries. <laughs> that I was waiting for power ammo, a good 10 seconds left on it, and out of nowhere comes an enemy. I didn't freak out, I, I, I saw the enemy on the radar, but I didn't engage the enemy because I had a teammate there that was, you know, I thought had my back, but was so focused on getting that ammo, he didn't even try to defend me as I was already obtaining the ammo and in that moment, the enemy killed both of us, which honestly made me super mad. So to me, that was my main problem. Very minuscule, but that is a real problem playing with randoms. I'm definitely happy that they introduced guided games, so that way you can actually play with people who will actually talk to you and communicate, and hopefully, you know, take turns when it comes to power ammo. I have no problem giving up power ammo. You know, there's times where I know I'll kick ass. Like, when it comes, like, to certain situations. I'm pretty shit with the sniper right now. Like, I used to be, you know, pretty godly. But I, I'm honestly shit. And if my character only has a, a sniper as a power weapon, I'm definitely not going to pick up that power ammo. If I have a rocket launcher, a grenade, or a fusion rifle, that's a whole different story. But... I'm getting sidetracked, sorry about that. And well, besides all that, I came out with a positive outlook on the future of Destiny 2. No, this game is not perfect. Far from it to be honest, but the changes that were introduced, like casual and competitive playlists, and going from 6v6 to 4v4 is a very good step forward in my opinion. Bungie did state that the build of the game we played in the beta was an older build. They used to test the servers and balancing like reach, bleh, recharge time of supers and other items, so don't be turned off by a beta. If you're still cautious of the game, stay tuned to this channel as I will upload frequent, frequent, sorry about that, I am so bad right now, frequent videos surrounding Destiny 2 story and Crucible, and other interesting facts relating to the game. That's all for me today. I gotta go, it's actually my birthday today on the 27th of July, so hey, you, if you want till the end, wish me a happy birthday. Don't be me. <laughs> well, happy late birthday. It'll be uploaded the day after. <laughs> Catch you guardians in the next one, and don't forget, always 
stay awesome. Until the next one, bye-bye.